Hello! There are so many LEGO minifigures released these days, I think everybody on the entire planet has one made of them now. But apparently that's not enough, or at the very least they might be slightly too expensive. And this is where cheap knockoff LEGO-y stuff comes in. And boy, have I accumulated some beauties for you today! Let's start with some pirate characters. <clears throat> Ready for my pirate impression? Me hearties. That was a very bored pirate. From M.Y. My... I don't know. Look, there's Captain Jack. I'm not Jack Sparrow Sparrow. Here's four lovely pirates for your collection. Um, well, they don't start too badly. I mean, the skin's a bit sort of an off colour. They look a bit like Mr. Data from Star Trek. But yeah, we've got the jolly moustache and the hat and all that kind of stuff. All looks quite piratey. And then we immediately get into a dead one. I blame Pirates of the Caribbean for this. You can't have pirates without ghosts these days. And here's a quite frightening skeletal one. The whole mouth has a kind of somebody's never seen human teeth before look to it. Do you know what I mean? Also, the hat em emblem has been printed on so badly it looks like the camcorder's out of focus, which is quite interesting. We've also got so, ooh, somebody who's been eating tar for dinner, and oh my god. <laughs> the other one didn't have eyes. No, the other one has no eyes. This one has terror eyes from Planet Spod. Right, I'm actually going to get that. Ooh. And here they are on the back dancing for your amusement. <laughs> Because of course they are. What else would they be doing with their time? Certainly not piracy. Um, oh, there's some little extras at the back. Crappy pistols and cutlasses and stuff. And there's a cutlass with a bit of sprue attached. That's always quality. Come on then. New channel mascot. Here we go. I don't think it, the other hands actually designed so they can hold anything. They look very shallow. Oh no, it's gone in. It's gone in. There we are, me hearties. Yar! I be terrifying. Um, that's it. Do you know, it's so badly drawn, it reminds me of, um, if anybody's played the, uh, uh mobile phone game, uh, Dream Quest. Well, I think it works better on a tablet, actually. Which is like a absolutely brilliantly designed combination RPG and card game sort of thing, but it has the worst graphics imaginable. I mean, literally, your main character on the map is like a stick man with his arms coming out of his torso. But other than that, it would be like one of the best games. Well, it is a brilliant game. It just looks like absolute ass. This looks like a character from that, is what I'm saying. I don't want to be looking at this thing anymore. Come on, give us something nicer, my. How about some lovely military characters? These are vaguely familiar. We've got the chap in the flak jacket at the top. Um, looks slightly drunk, but not too bad. He looks sort of um, slightly evil. Looks Reminds me of Tackleberry from uh, Police Academy. I'm not entirely sure why. But my favourite two are on the bottom, where you've got kind of skeevy um, Middle Eastern dictator thing going on with the sunglasses and little beards and stuff. And what guns do they come with? Giant rifles. Like, that assault rifle, that, that can't be right. What is this thing about the MY or MY or whatever dance on the back? He really doesn't look into it, that one, does he? He's just in it for the paycheck. I don't know. Right, um, they've all got exactly the same. Oh no, they're not. No, no, they are all exactly the same. I take that back. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, he's escaped. No, he hasn't. I've found him. <sighs> that was close. Let's get the great dictator here to have a... AK-47 thing slightly bigger than his house. I've just realised they actually say army on the hat. That's good. Just in case you didn't know, they're in the army. I'm, I'm not entirely convinced this person is. He really does just look like a nightclub bouncer. But there we are. Good old MY. I've got some more here from Best Lock that I'm not particularly familiar with. Apparently they cost uh, one and a half euros, so that's a nice thought for us all, isn't it? Um, ein Product, the Best Lock Grouper. 100% compatible. There's very little on the back. Oh, these, yeah. I remember why I got these ones out now. These are the ones I've done before with slightly scary faces. Um, I don't know what these are going to be like. I, I, think, I can't really work out what's going on. So they're like racing car drivers or something, except they've got guns and backpacks. It's some sort of um, very strange hijacking thing going on, perhaps. Right, come on then, lads. Oh my god. I think that may be a new low for Lego faces. Well, a, a new high, because they've printed it too bloody high, but is that supposed to be his lips or an evil moustache? I can't actually tell. Uh, that, yeah, that, oh, the, the visors don't actually go up or anything. They just shatter off and, yeah, now he can't see where he's going. 
looks like a kind of French stereotype from an 80s cartoon or something. And this one is exactly the same, except printed slightly to the side as well, just to make things even worse. That really is quite tremendous. Best lock. Bloody barely competent lock, more like. Anyway, we shall now move over to Block Tech, which is like a company that makes fake sort of Lego stuff. You've probably guessed that by now. And here are some fantastic superheroes. Look at the joy in their eyes. So we have from left to right, um, actually let's get them out of the box. Three dollars somebody paid for this. I apologise to you, whoever that was. We have, hmm, I'm not entirely sure of the one on the left. Which, there's a lot of sort of superheroes with that kind of vague look. I can't think of which one specifically that is. We've got some sort of Black Widow thing going on next. Captain America, obviously. Really not sure of that one. Um, I mean, there's a sort of basic Iron Man thing, perhaps? But then you've got kind of... It doesn't cover his whole face and that. And Incredible Hulk at the end. Now, would you like to know their official names, everybody? <clears throat> the woman... The, 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 Let's just point and say, because it's going to be so confusing. Revenge, Smasher, Falcon Man, Metal Man, and Lightning Bolt. Oh god, it's supposed to be Thor! <laughs> yeah, he is! Look, he's got the square plates! I actually didn't pick up on that, my goodness. And according to the uh, picture, the Iron Man one is supposed to have sort of orange flesh going on, but instead they've just painted his arms red and left his head flesh-coloured. So uh, it does just look like some weirdo who's painted his face. Hmm. Quality is... Yeah, his best block, block tech... Even, oh, God, I've got more confused already. The block tech stuff is noticeably higher quality plastic-wise than the others. Does his little hat come off? Hehe! <laughs> you can see inside his brain, just like in that comic. Uh, lock and key. Um, yeah, and the holodeck legs freak me out slightly. These aren't particularly great, are they? But I do like the way they've gone out of their way to not break copyright name-wise, at the very least. Here, look, it's Falcon Man. Which kind of makes sense. His friend was Falcon, wasn't he? In the film, you know, that one with the superheroes. The 80s haircut Thor is freaking me out, though. It looks more like Frankenstein's monster or something. Mm. I've just remembered there was a black block tech Frankenstein's monster figure I did over Halloween. It was one of the most scary things I ever saw. Anyway, thank God there are no more of... Oh, God. There's more. What we got this time, then? Let's have a guess and then uh, see what they're actually called. Five figures. Why is that on this sheet? Oh, it's just a bit of cardboard. Well, that was nice. So, we have um, d Delivery Driver of Doom, uh, Fiery Head Person, um, Moon Knight, no idea, some version of Iceman or something, and... Ooh, oh, was d did Dazzler dress like that at one stage? Oh, I can't even remember. Who on earth that one's supposed to be? Let's see if we can guess what names they've given them. Um, Deadly Driver, Fire Bloke, Arctic Monkey, Blue Man Group, and Unimpressive Super Heroine. That's what I'm going for, but the names actually are... <clears throat> I love the way they put them out of order as well, so I have to go around. Mercury Girl, because she's got mercury poisoning. White Eagle, because he's not an eagle. He's black as well, so there we are. You've managed to fail on both fronts. The Flame. <laughs> Actually quite like that. The Flame. Shadow Cloak. Pardon. And Winter Knight. Yes, he's the one who's running around naked, by the looks of it. Actually, it was a slight worry. I want to have a close look at Shadow Cloak. This is obviously supposed to be a hero, but it's just not, uh, or, you know, an established one. It's really not... Uh, making any bells ring in my head. Can you get his bike helmet off? Uh, pretty much just... Uh, to be honest, not so much. Ah, good old block tech. I've got something here that's quite astonishing, actually, as a little segue. This is a block tech, although branded as brick by brick this time. Elite figure collection! Where you get 20 of the little blighters. And there's so little, um... Diff good God, I've just... So I just realised I didn't realise there's like a lifeguard at the bottom. <laughs> so a David Hasselhoff thing going on. 
<laughs> so you get full of police and firemen and stuff and a lifeguard as well. Well, that doesn't make sense. Perhaps they're all there to safeguard us, apart from this chap with the tattoos at the top. Gonna be honest, looks a bit skeevy. Um, yeah, there's not much diversity in the faces at all. They're basically the same person playing dress up most of the time. Actually, let's get them out. Each figure has the following. Hair stroke helmet. Face. Unique outfit. Movable limbs. Brilliant. Every figure has a face. They've actually put that in as if it's a selling point. Oh, I'm sick of all these faceless figurines I've been buying. Can I get one with a face? Oh, now I can. The future is here. Right, let's uh, destroy this entirely, getting into it. Mission accomplished. Right, if I can actually remove this. Ugh. Well, that wasn't worthwhile, was it? So, from top to left we have a uh, prisoner stroke gang member sort of thing going on, sort of grey flesh as well, I should put that scene to mate. A firefighter of some type, um, I don't know who the next one is, a, a ninja, it's clearly just him with his glasses off. And there he is again, but now he's in the army for some reason. Um, looks like an officer though. Quick promotion, well done. Uh, there is a police um, motorcycle person, there's uh, somebody who may be with a fire service and has a hat on. Uh, some sort of of a medical version, ambulance bike person, uh, somebody from Jurassic Park, and that's not even a joke, that is actually one of their Jurassic Park characters, isn't it, from their awful Jurassic Park knockoffs that appeared in Poundland at that time. See, how many of these have this bearded bloke face? It's unbelievable. Police, other police, and when I say other police, I mean he's just got a slightly different hat. Um, construction worker, high tech, same version of the same people. Airline pilot, do you think? Uh, some sort of construction worker. We've got ocean surf shop. S surfer shop owner. <laughs> that fits with the rest, doesn't it? Um, some combination builder and... Um, yeah, combination builder and fireman. I'm going from that. that. That's an odd one. David Hasselhoff there. High-tech police person. Um, the high-tech military person. I don't know. And somebody whose badge I can't read. Because it's absolutely... I'm going to hold it right to my eye. Hang on. I'm guessing Mountain Rescue, but I can't actually make out the letters on it. I think they're all smudged up. Well, there's 20 people we'll never want to see again as long as we live in our entire lives. Let's look at something a little bit higher quality on the scale. This is a company... It's Chinese, I believe, and it makes fake Lego figures. And I'm, I don't mean like, oh, it's not quite Lego like this stuff. I mean, they make actual fakes of existing Lego kits and stuff. And my goodness, they're getting pretty good at it. They also go by many, many names. When I was in Hong Kong earlier this year, they had so many different brands, it was unbelievable. But the ones that seem to be reaching our shores at the moment are called Dargo. I'm pretty sure it was a character from Farscape, but there we go. Now, one of these figures is from Dargo, one of these figures is actual Lego. Can you guess which is which? I'll take the hats off. Let's see if that helps. Oh, I can't seem to get the hat off that one properly, and it came off that one easily. There's the giveaway. Um, yeah, it was... Ah, there we are. The one this side with the gun is the fake one. The one on the other side is the real, actual Lego one. And, I mean, there's not really that much difference, is it? The bags under the eyes are more pronounced on that, and the skin colour's slightly different, and that's your lot, really. I mean, that is astonishing. The actual plastic quality feels pretty much exactly the same. I shall now replace the hats and be worried that I've uh, put them on the wrong ones. Ah, now the hats are a bit of a giveaway. The um, Lego one is far better pronounced on the logo, although again, that's probably not something that's going to worry little Jimmy when he's trying to play with his First Order officer from The Force Awakens. Well, Block World, infinite possibility. Only if you have an infinite number of bricks. And that, my friends, would be quite expensive. Um, I've also got this one, which I thought was quite interesting. It's Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels, the uh, CGI cartoon thing they did that, frankly, uh, is far better than it has any right to be. And it looks really good. Um, looks like it should. It looks like the proper Lego one. Take the hat off and the face is a bit naff, though. It's a bit sort of uh, clipped expression-wise, but kind of works. What doesn't work so well is, inexplicably, she has an angry man's face on the back of her head, meaning she is Professor Quirrell from the first Harry Potter film and has been infected by Voldemort. This is why you keep your space helmet on at all times, folks. If not, Voldemort grows on the back of your head and then you have to make a load more films where you kill him off. It's how these things work. Come on, let's have a final few then. We've got some more superheroes from good old Dargo or whatever they're calling themselves at the moment. Um, 
Actually, the one I've got here is marked up as Dargo. This is just marked up as S. And it is Superman from when he was a tramp. Yeah, it's like he's got loads of dodgy hair and hasn't shaved in ages. Is that from the start of Man of Steel? He was a bit like that, wasn't he? Mind you, he didn't have the Superman suit. Also, this one's on backwards. Got the S backwards there. And also, the one they're showing down here looks completely different. Is it supposed to be uh, jor his dad? I don't know. It's, it's got like a different face, different hair. I am very confused by this. I demand the contents of the box to tell us what's what. Oh my god, I love it when they get bits of car and stuff. Right. Superheroes. Collect them all. Herd series. Sheng Wan. Herd series. Hmm, fair enough. Well, oh, he's already put together in the box. Um, he looks more like the one in the corner, except far more worried. Oh. Oh, I've seen things. You wouldn't believe them. I've seen three Adam Sandler films. They were all recent ones. Help me. Um, yeah, the cape's a little bit fluffier than one would expect. Is there a second... No, there's no second face on the back of the head. Mm. I just noticed recently, incidentally, whenever Lego does anything that ties in with a, um existing property, they tend to use more skin-like colours rather than the old yellow these days, don't they? That's an interesting observation, isn't it? Well, and there's also a spare hand. That, that's great. Thanks for that. Well, you stand on there with your lumps of... This is why he looks so worried. He comes with about 43 lumps of bloody kryptonite, like he's slowly dying as he stands here. <coughs> Tell Lois Lane, <coughs> we, we had no chemistry in those films. Ugh. And that's the end of that. Right, let's see what's in here. This is going to be good. This might even be the best. I feel like I've oversold it now. Well, there's a bit of card showing Thor. That, that's quality. And Spider-Man. Brilliant. Well, if you wanted to know, um, statistics-wise, uh, Spider-Man has three more black... Oh, no, sorry, one more black bar than Thor does. See, I thought Thor was like a god or something. But there we are. Spider-Man's cooler or something. And what is on here? Oh my goodness. Oh ho ho, look! Using actual Lego artwork from one of the uh, collectible series, the one where you could win Mr. Gold and he was worth more than like 43 housing estates. Um, loads of superheroes, loads more Batman ones, Iron, well, every version of Iron Man imaginable, and some you can't imagine drive you mad if ever you were to get their details. You've got fake, oh, whatever that one was with the animals, Kima? Chima? Uh, Chinese schema? I've got no idea. Terrifying big-eyed animals. I don't even know what those ones are. Um, friends, which are the sort of the larger figures they use for girl stuff. Um, some Star Wars. Oh my goodness, look at that hand solo. That is amazing. And next to the freakish Obi-Wan Kenobi there. <laughs> Yoda just looking on, desperately not looking to his right. <laughs> I don't want to see that. You've got a million different bloody supermen, look. You've even got the one in the black suit. Um, that, oh, mind you, is that supposed to be... I'm very confused. Oh, this is good. The Green Lantern Wave with just mysteries. And then at the bottom, SpongeBob SquarePants, um, Mr. Fantastic, and another Spider-Man. Oh, dearie me. Well, I've been looking forward to this one, because I've always wanted one of these big Hulk figures. <laughs> and um, finally, I've got one. Yay, and we're back to Dargo. Ages 6 to 16. Whereas this one was 5 to 12. They're just putting on random numbers. Um, Hulk, so yeah, it's the big thing there, and um, I was going to say, it's not rattling around much, but because it's a lot bigger, isn't it? I don't know if it glows in the dark, like it claims there, but I very much doubt it. And on the back is, uh, oh, actually I didn't look at the back of this one. What a fool I was! Look, you've got Bizarro on there and everything. Uh, this one is just sort of generic superheroes, with uh, Batman next to Iron Man, which is something you probably wouldn't see normally. Come on then, Incredible Hulk. Let's see how well they've... Uh, well, uh, Oh no! Oh! Oh ho ho, you swines! Well, for starters, they haven't built it like they have the last one, but secondly, it's, it's Edward's. Look, it has actually got a little one. You sods, look! Massive Hulk figure, massive Hulk figure, massive Hulk figure, but then on the side and the top. He's a little old one. Well, that is absolutely rubbish, and everybody involved should be slapped. Slapped until they're sore. Deary me. Right, oh, I've got to build a bleeding thing now. Right. Stick one arm in there. Stick the other arm the other side, as is customary. Some hands have uh, gone everywhere, apparently. I've lost them all. I oh, know, here's two. That'll do. Oh, different. Uh, oh, just a very plain base plate on that one. Yeah, 
and that, and that. His big uh, Lou Ferrigno style hair. And most importantly, it's got his laser rifle. Thank goodness for that. You know it's not really the Incredible Hulk unless he's got his laser rifle. <sighs> there we are. Amazing. Where's the uh, fake one we had earlier? Battle of the Hulks. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm sort of midway between nauseated and terrified. Um, I'm going to swap the legs over just to make things really awful. Not compatible with major brands. Right, let's have a see what you get in this one then. It looks like just cards, but uh, I'm not entirely sure because I can't get the bag open. Right, superheroes in a very faded print. There's the Hulk. He's got some numbers, but he's still angry. He's also a lot bigger. And oh, they're all Hulk. They're all actually relevant. That's something. So you can have three versions of the Hulk and all the numbers are the same. Best card game ever. Ah, oh, well, that's your lot. Except it's not! I've just spotted one more and I'll get rid of it at the same time I'm doing everything else. It's Jurassic World! There's Chris Pratt and uh, all the other characters you didn't care about because, frankly, the film wasn't really very good at all, was it? Special effects were cool, though. So we've got a man on a motorbike and a Velociraptor B, one of the ones, blue, delta, I can't know what they're called. Oh, attack 500, defence 540, but potential 500, that's tremendous. Thank you, SL Toys, who are quite clearly the same manufacturers did all the others. So what is in here, then? It's sort of advertising bloke on bike, looking a bit Sam Neely, um, and Velociraptor. You're not going to get all that at all, though. In fact, looking at the back, it's just... A dinosaur. I hope it's actually the one featured on the box. That would be a bit of a miracle. Oh, blimey, there wasn't, uh, wasn't much in there. We have some stickers, some faded looking stickers, pre faded for your enjoyment of the actual Lego sets. And this. <coughs> yeah, this isn't quite up to the standard. Let's just have a look at how. Hmm. Yeah, it's a different dinosaur, isn't it? It's a different model entirely. It's much, much smaller. It's actually uh, that one, isn't it? But yeah, done in a very sort of bland paint scheme. Maybe SL toys aren't actually the same as the other manufacturers. It seems not as good. Although the plastic's pretty high quality. Um, yeah, plastic's pretty good, actually. Well, that's a bit shite, isn't it? Go over there and bleed to death or something. Right, that's far too much in the way of fake Lego minifigures for probably this millennium. Be sure to check back on this channel in the year 3093, where we'll be making a follow-up video.